is for. This is for a woman who, or maybe a man, but this is for a person who maybe put too much energy into a relationship. Maybe you put too much time, maybe too much energy, maybe too much effort into a situation that the universe may have been showing you already that this situation wasn't going to work. But you stayed and you cleaned this man up because that's exactly what you did. And I want this to translate to everybody, but this is specifically for a woman who became the cleanup woman. And that's exactly what happened in this situation. So maybe you've been with this guy for a minute, two, three, four years, five, hell, maybe even if you're married to him. And he's been toxic the entire time. This reading is for you. Let's say he's been toxic the entire time and now y'all have broken up. This reading is for you. Well, let's get into it. So this is a rela uh, reading regarding someone's relationship or their situation with their person, their partner, their whomever this person is. And I will go ahead and tell you in this reading, child, there has been witchcraft done on your relationship. There is a situation where um, maybe, like I said, you built him up. You were good to him. You took care of him. You did everything you thought you knew to be a good woman. And this is where you come in as the high priest as you thought, okay, this is what you do to cause a relationship to grow and you're trying to build like y'all literally were maybe living together or again, you may have be you may be married, but you're in a relationship with this person and you doing what you need to do as a woman to get the shit did and make everybody happy except yourself. This is why this happened. However, nothing was good enough nothing is good enough because there is a witch at play honey your man is out here fucking around with a witch honey so if you are that woman that's like yo i don't know what's going on in my relationship like you crying you up at night you bothering your motherfucking friends with this situation regarding this man that has already been going on you like why are we fighting so much what, what is this energy about like we can barely stand to be in the room with one another without some words being exchanged that might not have should have been exchanged you know how you say shit that you shouldn't have said this it's a lot of this going on man y'all are fighting and shit might be getting a little bit physical like y'all tussling and shit and not only are you and him tussling it's causing a, a rift between the family. So maybe you feel like you have to choose between him and his family or whomever you're cool with in his family or whatever it is. And he's trying to, uh, he's manipulating. He's manipulating the situation and it's kind of working in his favor. Uh, not kind of, it is totally working in his favor. This is why you're not getting along with the family. That's why it's discord and the familial house like you and him not getting along and maybe now his mama is acting silly with you or his dad his siblings whatever is going on there's a lot of toxic fighting and shit that may not have necessarily came out of nowhere because the dude kind of had shit going on anyway but y'all were in a kind of a safe space if you will a safe place in this relationship until shit hit the fan and now y'all are fighting, and not only are y'all fighting, yo, he's not being honest, and he's lying and shit, and you're like, yo, does he really want to fucking be in a relationship with me anymore? Do you really want to be fucking married to me, nigga? Like, what is going on here that we are fighting about the dumbest shit? He's staying out all night, not taking care of his responsibilities. Like, you're, like, really on the outside looking in. Like, he seems to be saying shit like, oh... I'm not fulfilled or I'm unhappy. He's he's really projecting his bullshit off onto you. But you're trying to figure out why shit ain't working and why you feel like a stranger in your own house and why this man is rejecting you. Well, let me go ahead and bring my cards back because y'all know I like to do that. And these are the most important ones here. All of the cards are important, but these three here are important because this is how she stole your man. Yes, I'm going to get into that, and I have to spoil it for you and let you know what was going on. Because all of that drama in your relationship is being created by a succubus, honey. 
And this might be one of your homegirls. This might be nobody that you know. And it also speaks really heavily to this being an ex, a possible ex of his, that he keeps spending a block with. That should let you know right there that that's not your man, that's her man. But anyway, all of this toxicity is being created in your life because of a woman. A woman that is sitting back watching you now. When we speak of someone watching you, I know y'all immediately want to, oh, that's his ex, that's his baby mama, that's da 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 I want y'all to consider whether or not you've been sitting up telling your friends a little bit too much about your relationship. Because whomever the woman is, she grimy ass bitch. She don't care nothing about you. She will do whatever it takes to take what it is that you have, including studying you. If you got a bitch that's pretending to be your friend and or you don't know that she's pretending to be your friend. You got a bitch that's this, oh, friend, and she a little bit too close to you. It's her. If you and your man shit ain't interrupted to the level that this reading is saying that it's going to go to, watch this bitch because that's exactly who the fuck it is. Or again, it might be his ex. And to some of you all, unfortunately, if this is your man and I'm speaking about he was married and you came into a relationship after he and his spouse were done. He's going back to his spouse. This is also him looking back, reminiscing, thinking about what could be, as well as her watching you. Here we are with this toxic ass queen of swords, willing to do anything to take your spot. That's why I said maybe a friend, might even be a damn sibling, because some of y'all got some Jerry Springer style shit going on in your family, but. There is somebody that has been watching you, girl, and watching your relationship and absorbing everything that you've been running around talking. See, wands are always communication, too. You've been talking a little bit too goddamn much, and now somebody's sitting back watching and cutting away at your relationship. Oh, and baby, she determined to have this man. She's determined to have her man back or have this man on to herself or to destroy your situation and take your man. Essentially, this woman does take your man from you. I want you to realize that, um, again, if you are dating a man that is married, he is going back to his wife. Anyway, like I said, this lover might be from the past. Some, some ex that he was seeing or some woman that he has cheated on you before with and he's spending a block with him. And unfortunately, baby, he would already been, even if you thought that it was maybe rumors or if you couldn't really prove it, couldn't put your finger on it, your man been over here spending time and, and energy, honey. That's where he runs to every time y'all get into it. He goes to his lover, be it if that's his ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, or just something that he fucking on. He goes to this one. He's already been pouring the energy into it because he's showing her things or, or he's dating her. He might not have even taken you out on a date this year. Or he may have given you this spiel if, you know, y'all are just girlfriend and boyfriend and y'all been together maybe one, two years or whatever. He's giving you this spiel. Oh, I don't like to be out in public. People, da 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 Well, he's lying because he enjoys spending his time out with her. He has no problem taking her out and spending money on her. So if you're dealing with one of these guys that, oh, I don't give women money and you dealing with a nigga like that, first of all, sis, examine your fucking self-esteem because the problem is definitely you. But if you can't get a dime out of him and he talking this bullshit about, oh, I don't spend money on da-da-da, whatever, he's lying. He out here tricking big time with her. Not only is he tricking, baby, they fucking real good, too. He over there really taking care of this one. And it's not like he doesn't feel bad. He doesn't feel bad enough to stop, I'll tell you that. He feels bad about what he's doing. But it's hard for him to let this chick go. I told you because she is doing witchcraft on your man. And not only is she doing witchcraft, honey, she's winning at the shit because he's developing feelings for her. Deep emotional feelings. The Queen of Cups outlines emotions and shit like that. He's developing feelings for her. So therefore, her spell is working, honey. And unfortunately, boom goes the dynamite. If he has not left, your man will be leaving soon. And let's say, okay, it's a situation of like, okay, well, he been gone for a couple of days, whatever, whatever. 
is a short-term thing. It may be short-term. He might come back to you. But remember, the Three of Swords is present. And even if he does come back, he's going to leave again. So what the universe is telling you is to prepare yourself for this tower that's coming. Because this relationship is a rat hunt. And you're about to be a single woman. Manage your emotions really good, honey. Because the shit ain't hit the fan yet, okay? You ain't heard what's really, really gonna break your heart and put the towel on in, in front of you yet. Let me make sure I pull these back and pull her up. Because we must put the, put, put the uh, high priestess forward. Because whomever this woman is that your husband fucking with, she knew what she was doing, honey. That love spell hit and it hit good. It hit good enough that she took your man out your life. And, and some of y'all need to pay attention a little bit more instead of running to... I'm going to go pray in church and da-da-da-da. Somebody may have already told you to be careful because your husband getting or your man getting witchcraft through on him, but you didn't listen. So y'all dismiss anything except Jesus. But when somebody tell you that somebody doing some shit, you need to listen. This is for whomever the woman is that's going to get the tarot readings. And the tarot reader tried to tell you that your husband or your man or your kick it buddy, whatever the fuck it is that you're developing feelings for or have feelings for. When that tarot reader tried to tell you that your man, your man was cheating and he was about to leave, you should have listened. Because that's exactly what's about to occur, occur beloved. That witch and got him, honey. And unfortunately for you, he getting ready to be a brand new nigga for her. See, this is where it came in and I told y'all, don't be the cleanup woman. Long term, honey. He's making the choice to change for this woman. And she's going to be able to sit back and not only reap the benefits of knowing that her spell work works, but she's going to reap the benefits of everything you did to make that man who the fuck he is for her. But he's not going to be that for you. See, his head is towards his witch. That's who he's, he's concentrated on. And he's going to change for her and has no problem with it because she mean what she say when she say to him, I'm not putting up with that shit your, your ex put up with. And it's going to be hard to hear back, but this man finna marry this woman. He's definitely going to marry her. Here they are as husband and wife. So if you are the chick that I'm talking to that can screw up this nigga up and you done been with him five, six, seven years and all of a sudden he dumped you, first of all, thank God that y'all didn't get married because now he's her problem, not yours. But second of all, never clean a man up because this is exactly what the fuck happens. Or if you're a man and you got this situation going on, stop cleaning these hoes up because this is exactly what they're going to do. Go sit before the judge and get married. Now, they get ready to be husband and wife, not only because he's in love, because he is in love, honey. He's over there in love with her and giving her the world that he promised you. But the only difference is he's going to definitely give her that world that he promised you because... If y'all were not able to have children or you were not able to conceive, he's conceived with her. She will be or she is pregnant. And that's just what it is, honey. He's going to marry her so that his children will come here legally. They won't be bastards. He's going to do the right thing by this woman. And here you are. Yeah, baby. That is crazy. So your man has left you or he's going to leave you. And he is going to marry the woman that he's been cheating on you with you might think that it's selfish but at the end of the day honey that opportunity the opportunity for any form of growth or anything lucrative to come into that relationship was over did you learn your lesson don't be a cleanup woman